Now with the multitude of Fortnite skins that there now are in this game, I believe at this point there's like three, like four, three to five thousand, it's somewhere in between there. I've always felt like there was a different area, well specifically with Save the World, where there's so many different skins and so many types of um, unique skins that Fortnite could put into Battle Royale and implement into Fortnite that they really just haven't over the years. Now, if I go into my favorites here, which I favorited all of the Save the World skins that I have, I believe these are all the ones that I have that came from Save the World originally, you can see that there's kind of like a difference between a conventional Battle Royale skin and a Save the World skin. And there's one in the shop right now, like I said, I haven't bought all of them, because normally they're in like $20 packs, which is understandable because they come with Save the World and other things. But like, as you can see with this guy here, I've always loved this guy because it feels like, like Fortnite has always said, they want Fortnite to be, or Donald Mustard said this before he, you know, left, they want Fortnite to be a living, breathing place, right? And that makes sense, especially with um, what they've said with um, why they're having Marvel and all these different universes inside of Fortnite. They want it to be a living, breathing place that changes and has so many different things in it at one time that it feels like it's never stagnant, which I definitely do feel like Fortnite is not stagnant. But, you know, just like with this guy right here, there's lore to this guy. You can tell that he's like, you know what I mean? I feel like if I walked into Greasy Grove, I would see this guy there as like a technician or something. You know what I mean? Like even on the base level, it feels like he, this guy has like lore. You know what I mean? I feel like this is a real person. Obviously he's in a video game, but I just feel like it's just something about him. I really can't pinpoint it. And then these guys over here, um, these are actually pretty rare skins at this point, I believe, but these are the first save the world skins that were in Fortnite. Um, I think you had to buy save the world to have them. I actually can't remember exactly how I got these, but you can tell that there's just something there's differences about them. I mean, Save the World is kind of an entirely different game in comparison to Battle Royale, but there is a difference between these skins. And there are so many types of um, different skins and layouts of um, players and, you know, sets that they could make in Fortnite that they just will not implement over. And I don't know if that's because they want it to be like specifically just Battle Royale and Save the World separate. But even if we go into the shop here right now, there's this girl right here, the Natural Constructor Pack. There's a different vibe to this skin in comparison to all other skins. Maybe it's because they're all survival skins, and that could be why. They're all based around a survival sort of mode. I'm not really sure, but Carrie here, along with all of this other stuff, obviously it comes with Save the World. But like this, this is just a different, a different vibe. These skins have different vibes, you know, like, like the constructor sort of stuff. Um, this technician guy, maybe it's because they're more like, I don't know, real life. Like I can connect to this guy more. This feels like a guy that I would see in real life. It feels like a real person when I guess in comparison, if we go over here to all of my skins, I have 426 of them. I don't feel like I'd see this person in real life. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't relate to many of these people because obviously they're in a game. But you know what I mean? They feel, Save the World feels more real to me. And not necessarily, obviously, I can draw differences between real life and a video game. I'm not saying that I think Save the World is real and Battle Royale is fake. Obviously, they're both in a video game. But the difference is, is that I feel like I can relate to this person. You know what I mean? He has this, like, he has, like, a compass here. This is, like, a traveling dude. Like, this is an adventurer. This is a survival guy. And maybe I'm looking too deep into this, um, but I've always loved Save the World skins. I've always loved, um, you know, the mecha team leader. That one was really cool. I didn't get to buy that one, but I really liked that one. Um, this guy right here, I really liked this guy, Sid Obsidian. He's just, he's just really slick. You can automatically tell it's from Save the World just because of like the vibe. It just has a different sort of vibe. It doesn't feel as complicated. It doesn't feel as money grubbing. It just feels like a good skin that they wanted to put in Fortnite because they know it's a good skin. You know what I mean? It doesn't. And this guy right here, this is one of the most unique skins in the game. I don't know what it is about this skin, but I've always thought that it was really cool. When it came back into the item shop, I had to buy this dude. Uh, the Cloak Star is actually one of the um, one of the like base skins in um, Save the World, like his base, like the actual person. 
um, kind of like how this is Ramirez, like the base guy is actually one of the main Save the World characters. Um, they also have like um, the bigger, like heavier guy. He's also in um, Save the World. He's not a skin for some reason. There's so many different skins like in Save the World and so many different bases, like even just in that Save the World promo that used to be the Fortnite loading screen. There's so many different like people there that we just don't see. We don't see those base guys. We kind of see the same sort of base skins over and over again and i just feel like there's so much untapped potential with save the world and i don't know why they won't go into that maybe it's because they want to have them separate like i said because battle royale and save the world are kind of completely two different i guess universes i guess um but like the vibes here with these skins and how they always put them in packs goes to show that fortnite does value these characters and maybe they're just wanting to release them like little by little but there is so much untapped potential everyone's saying like oh fortnite is um running out of ideas they don't know what to put in fortnite they don't have enough they definitely do have enough because they have saved the world which is completely untapped along with so many different weapons and abilities and all types of other stuff save the world is just a fantastic mode even if i go into um save the world in general but if you go into save the world and it's so unfortunate that they got rid of the people working on save the world like they're not focusing on it as much anymore i know that it's really not popular if i can find it somewhere oh by epic i know it's really not as popular as you know everything else but it still has like sixteen thousand people playing this right now okay i guess i, I don't have save the world installed i didn't know it was like a completely separate thing at this point but save the world i remember the one time that i did play it it i, I remember you were able to like interact with just about everything you were able to interact with the dressers you were able to interact with um with the sink with the you know the vaults and stuff which you're able to do now but it's just it has save the world is such a unique game and i wish it got more attention i wish more aspects of save the world were in battle royale i can't wait for them to start releasing more and more um save the world characters into battle royale along with different weapons and things because it's one of those things that it comes down to if you want Fortnite to be a living, breathing place. You know what I mean? Like, all of these s modes being separate and having their own separate vibes is fine. But I feel like Save the World it was like the base of Fortnite. Like, Save the World was Fortnite before Fortnite was Fortnite. You know what I mean? Um, we also have um, in this, like, promo image, like, this girl is a part of uh, Fortnite Battle Royale 2 now. But Save the World is the fabrics of Fortnite. And I feel like it definitely absolutely should not be left behind they need to expand on it more i feel like uh lego fortnite kind of took the survival aspect of fortnite away from save the world and that's why they're not having as much of a focus on it anymore which completely makes sense i mean obviously lego fortnite 53k in comparison to 16k but that might simply just be because lego fortnite has got more marketing it's gotten more publicity nobody really they don't really promote save the world at all anymore I don't even believe they're having like new seasons or going along with the Battle Royale uh, seasons anymore. But all in all, I want there to be more Save the World skins in Battle Royale. You know, skins like the Cloak Star, like um, the Ned guy, like this Repair guy. Um, I just want more Save the World stuff in Battle Royale because there's so much untapped potential there. And things that they could so easily just like seamlessly transition into Fortnite Battle Royale that I think people would really, really like. Um, so that's really my rant for this video. Uh, sorry about the kind of randomness if it seemed a little bit unorthodox or like not organized at all. It kind of was in my head. I just started, I just pressed record because this is something I've wanted to talk about for a while. They don't really do this very often and it's something they need to do if they want to keep, you know, skins feeling like fresh and unique because there's a lot of unique skins in Save the World that they just haven't, you know, paid much attention to. Um, but if you guys did enjoy today's video, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Use code PRO0YT, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.